my dear friends today i am going to prove kanosa pythagoras theorem in previous class we proved pythagoras theorem but today we have to prove kanosa pythagoras theorem first we have to know the meaning of kanos so kanos means reverse of the pythagoras theorem so what is proved in pythagoras theorem we have to prove reverse clear okay let's see the statement in triangle abc so here is triangle so right in triangle abc in triangle abc square of any side is equal to sum of square of sum of squares of other two sides then the angle opposite to first side is right angle right angle so here so square of any side you can take any either ac bc or ab square of any side is equals to sum of square of other two side then the angle opposite to first side is 90 degree okay so here given given is triangle abc in which ac square is equals to ab square plus bc square here i am considering first side is ac square so ac square is equals to sum of other two sides okay na square of other two sides here next we have to go to prove so in this theorem we have to prove that the angle opposite to first side so that is here the angle opposite to first side is b so that b is equals to 90 degree so angle b is equals to 90 degree so here we have to prove that angle b is equals to 90 degree so for this we have to take construction so construction is very simple we have to draw another triangle that is pqr draw another triangle pqr draw another triangle pqr okay so in this we have to make ab is equals to pq and okay so first we have to mark it pq r so another triangle pq r draw triangle pq r right angled at right angled at q that means here you have to take right angle q such that such that this ab is equals to pq this ab is equals to pq ab is equals to pq and bc is equals to qr bc is equals to qr okay so that is proof so in proof we have to take two column one is statement another one is reason okay so first in statement we have to write a triangle pqr pqr so by pythagoras theorem here we have to apply pythagoras theorem pythagoras theorem so we have to apply pythagoras theorem if you apply pythagoras theorem so that means pr square is equals to pq square plus qr square pq square plus qr square so this is pythagoras theorem so here 
in construction we take pq as ap so you have to write down uh, by construction so we have we can write down so pq as ab square plus qr as bc that means in the place of qr you have to substitute bc bc square so now pr square is equals to ab square plus bc square okay that means pr square is equals to okay listen here in a triangle if any sum of any two square of any two side is equals to third side that means ac square so for that you have to write down so ac square this ab square plus bc square is nothing but ac square so for that pr square is equals to ac square then pr is equals to ac so here in the reason column you have to write down by construction by construction clear you have to mention it by construction we substitute the value of pq is equals to ab and qr is equals to bc so in the next step now to go now in triangle <coughs> now in triangle this abc and triangle pqr now in triangle abc and triangle pqr so here we have to make them first congruent first this triangle and this triangle we have to make them as a congruent triangle so for that we have to apply congruency criteria so here first we have to take uh, ab is equals to pq so in this triangle so first triangle abc ab is equals to pq that means this side is equals to this side and bc is equals to bc is equals to qr we already okay uh, you are right in the reason column by construction okay now nah? reason is construction then last ac is equals to pr so ac is equals to pr so this is proved above so just we proved above here proved above so here we have to apply side 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 congruency that means uh, triangle abc is congruent to triangle pqr by yes s congruency yes 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 congruency so s s s congruency so by this we proved that this triangle is congruent to uh, this triangle so for that here angle q is equals to angle b that is equals to 90 degree and it is the corresponding part of congruent triangle so you have to write it as cp ct corresponding part of congruent triangle hence it is proved you have written at the last hence it is proved hence it is proved so any doubts on this theorem or any particular uh, doubts on class 10 mathematics you may comment in comment box